What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So in this video, I wanna share with you my favorite free themes for the Ghost Content Management System. Ghost is a completely free content management system with a strong focus on blogging and email marketing. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to create a website and blog using Ghost, I suggest checking it out. So in this video, I wanna share with you some of my favorite free themes for Ghost that I think you should be aware of. So let's get started. Number one is the Casper theme. So this is a magazine style theme. It looks fantastic. It comes with your ghost installation by default. And this is what it looks like on a mobile device. Clear call to action at the top with an image. We have a hamburger menu right there very easy to navigate and just looks great. So what does this theme actually look like on an active installation? So here you go. So right up top there, we have our menu bar. We have a nice subscribe button that's easy to navigate to. So if you have some type of payment set up on the back end, people can click here and subscribe to your website, but you don't have to do this. You can set it up completely for free so people can just subscribe and get your latest blog posts. And then that's it. And so now the way it's laid out is a nice magazine style uh, layout so it's very easy and readable and then individual blog posts are again great so right up top there we have our logo menu bar subscribe button the specific category that this blog post is uh, filed under then they clear call to action right there so people know where they're at with a nice big h1 title tag attention to detail with a nice gorgeous image right there padding on the left in the right to kind of squish everything together so the text is nice and readable and then we get to the bottom and again another call to action to subscribe to the email list as well as related posts so people can navigate to other pieces of content within your website so anyways this is number one the casper theme Number two, and my personal favorite is Massively. So this is a free theme that comes with your ghost.org installation, features this big, beautiful image in the background, H1 title tag, front and center, a little blurb that describes what the website's about, attention to detail, how you uh, scroll down, it automatically changes into this nice looking logo right there, has a call to action right there to jump down here and get into the content. If we scroll all the way back up to the top, I love attention to detail, how the menu sits nice and pretty at the bottom of the web browser. And of course, like all Ghost themes, it's optimized for mobile. So now we have a little hamburger menu over there. Just looks really good. So on an active website, this is what it looks like. Comes with the subscribe button right there. Again, the H1 title tag. And then here is all the different content that people can jump into. And then an individual blog post looks like this. So the content is front and center, no sidebar. It looks really nice and very readable. Now, the things I don't like about this theme, Number one is that the logo doesn't look good. Now this logo looks good, but like if you want to have your own custom logo and upload it to this theme, you can totally do that. It just doesn't work as well as I would like. It's not really optimal. It's better just to leave it as this text logo. And then number two, the developers of Massively, they want a link back to their website. So you have to jump into the HTML in order to adjust this right down here. You can't just jump into like your ghost.org installation and just change the secondary footer menu and it, it updates this you're kind of stuck with this unless you want to jump into the html and edit it yourself but otherwise apart from those two things overall massively is a very beautiful very impressive looking theme you know you're going to create a website with this theme people are going to come here and think that you paid a web designer a lot of money to create such a beautiful looking website they're going to be asking you what wordpress theme you're using you're going to be like i'm not even using wordpress i'm using ghost Org. So anyways, that's number two, massively. Number three is addition. So addition is a minimal newsletter theme for Ghost. So the thing I love about this theme is it comes with an email opt-in form built right in front and center. And then you scroll down right here and you have a bunch of related contents. You can have your featured articles up top there, then everything else that you've published down there. So it makes it very easy for someone to subscribe and also just get into your website's content. And of course it's optimized for mobile and it looks great. So what does it look like on an active installation? Here you go, just beautiful. So front and center to subscribe to an email list. Uh, you are going to need to source some type of large image. So I got this image actually from Unsplash. So it's a 2000 by 2000 pixel image. So it is quite large. Scroll down here. Boom. Content. Just jump into the content. Nice and simple. Then we get to the bottom of the website and a very minimalistic footer. I really like it. So an individual blog post, again, just minimalistic, looks fantastic. We have the date up top there, then the category, 
and then h1 title for the post and then again just jump into the content we get to the bottom right there then a very minimalistic you may also like related blog post style uh, footer and then built in social share buttons and overall attention to detail looks great very readable uh, and you know you can have a very impressive looking homepage and then minimalistic easy to read individual piece of content so anyways that's number three edition number four is the digest theme so this is a very minimalistic easy to read theme now the key feature of this theme is that it shows your latest blog post on the home page in its entirety then people have to click over here browse all issues to get to your archive of blog posts then there's a nice big prominent subscribe to your website box at the very bottom and like all ghost themes it's optimized for mobile here's the hamburger menu prominent subscribe button right down there and it looks really good so what does this actually look like on an active installation here you go so right here we have our h1 title tag and then this is the entire blog post uh, on the home page and it looks good okay now only slight issues like one i have to click over here to browse all issues then i'm over here on the archive page and so i can click on the latest blog post which is this blog post over here on the home page then it has its own dedicated uh, url so this could be considered duplicate content google's pretty sophisticated about this about knowing which one to rank but it could be a slight issue but overall if you're looking for a great theme that's really focused on content so people come to the home page of your website get the latest piece of content subscribe to the website then i definitely suggest checking out the digest theme so that's number four the digest theme number five is the dope theme because i guess it's dope I don't know the way that this theme works is that it showcases your category pages so each of these links right there are a category so on the back end of your website you're going to have to associate a feature image with a category page not that complicated so overall it looks good and then you come down here and then this is the footer of the website then of course you can click the next button if you have more categories that you want to show on the home page and you have your hamburger menu now on an active installation okay it's kind of disappointing but that's because uh, by default ghost doesn't really set any type of feature image for your category pages so you got to kind of do that in the back end but anyways if you come down here and i click on this category then this is what the user is going to be looking at a nice category page here of related content to whatever this topic is about then you click on one of these topics right there jump in then this is what the actual blog post itself looks like with a nice little feature image right there uh, that takes the feature image that you have added to the website and that's it and so then you have a nice piece of content right there you come to the bottom we have our social share buttons and then we have related posts and then right here at the bottom again the very basic footer and that's it okay so anyways that's number five dope number six is saga so saga is not actually within the marketplace for ghost.org so you are going to have to navigate over here to github and then you're just going to download it so you click on the code button then boom right here download zip and then upload it to your ghost.org installation and that is it so the theme features a nice big image in the background, a very minimalistic menu bar, and a tiny little logo up top there, and an H1 title tag right there to describe what the website's about. Then it features your latest and greatest blog posts on the homepage, and a nice little grid layout. Now individual blog posts look like this, with a big image in the background, which is the feature image. So for this theme, you are going to have to use quite large images on your website. Uh, so that may be a little bit of an issue for some people because uh, large images do slow down your website just a little bit. And then that's it. So you have a nice piece of content right there. And then we have our footer at the bottom and it looks good. And then let's just jump over here to take a quick look at what this looks like on a mobile device. And so right here, it looks really nice with the image in the background, the H1 title tag, piece of contents, very readable and easy to navigate. So anyways, that's number six, Saga. Number seven is the Byron theme. So this is very similar to Saga in that it features a big image, clear call to action front and center. Uh, and then it displays your blog post in a nice grid layout, but it has a little bit more of an advanced footer with different sections to add things. So for example, like we have a sub menu right there, social media links, you can all change these on the back end pretty easily. And overall, it's a pretty good theme. Now to get it is the same as Saga. You got to download it from GitHub. So it's called the B-I-R-O-N, Byron Ghost Theme. Again, click the code button and then download it to zip and then upload it to your ghost installation. Now an individual piece of content looks like this with the nice big image in the background. So again, just like Saga, you're going to have to use large images with this theme for everything to look good and work correctly. And then that's it. And so now we have a nice piece of content, very easy to read and navigate the website. 
I like it because it has good attention to detail with the images right there. They're a little bit, just a pinch wider. Look at that, a little bit wider than the, the content. So again, I just like little details like that. So it stands out a little bit more. And then you come down here and it comes built in with uh, you know content that's related as well as Discus. If you want to have this installed or you can just uninstall this, it's totally up to you. Then you have your related posts right there. And so again, you can customize little aspects of this. It gets a little bit busy in the bottom right here, so I'd probably remove Discus. But again, you have your social share buttons, related posts, email opt-in form right there. Everything's kind of built into this uh, theme pretty well. So anyways, that's number seven, the Byron theme. Number eight is the London theme. So this comes within the ghost.org marketplace completely for free. So it's very easy to install. It features a logo front and center. Off to the left is your menu bar. Off to the right, social media links, front and center, your H1 title tag that describes what the website is about. And then it takes your individual blog posts and shows them off using their feature image in a nice like visual menu style, uh, very creative presentation. And so again, just like it says here, focus on clean type in beautiful imagery and then when you're on a mobile device this is what it looks like very nice easy to read and understand okay so and on an active installation here you go so we have our call to action at the top right there then all our individual blog posts right there if we open up a piece of content so we have our h1 title tag right there then our image feature image right there then the body of the content right there and it looks really good so this theme is not the most aggressive per se with getting people to subscribe so if you're looking for more for like a just a blog oriented theme and you're not really super aggressive with email marketing this is a good choice but i think on the list there are better themes if you want to collect emails but again if you're just looking for something that's really cool and interesting and displays your content in a very visually appealing way, this is not a bad option. So anyways, that's number eight, the London theme. Number nine is the Edge theme. So this theme is created with the photographer in mind, but you can blog with this theme if you like. So each one of these are individual blog posts that have a feature image. So it just showcases off your work really well. And then up top there, you can link to whatever you want. So if you have a menu and link to individual categories or pages, totally up to you. Then over there, we have our social media links and it looks really good. So let's take a quick look of what the theme looks like on a mobile device. Okay, and so it looks really fun and interesting and helps people kind of jump in and get into the website. Now on an active installation, here you go. So like I said, it's taking the feature image of your individual blog posts. So if we open up a feature image, here we go. This is what it looks like. So up top there, you have your title for the blog post, then the first sentence, and then the feature image that you have set right over there. Then it kind of just jumps into the individual piece of content. And it's literally that simple. Okay, so here we go. Content, content, content. We get to the very bottom. Then you may also like these other related pieces of content. So if I was a photographer, how would I use this? So I would just set this up and use the feature image feature to showcase my photography, then write a quick little 300 to maybe 500 word blog post that just describes the equipment I used, et cetera, where the setting was, picture, camera, all that stuff that people would need to know, as well as like maybe a call to action to subscribe for like photography tips or subscribe to the email list uh, or get in touch with me for a project or to work with me, something along the lines of that. So anyways, that's number nine, the edge theme. And finally, number 10 is the Alto theme. So this theme is your standard magazine style layout. So you can have your featured blog posts up the top there, then your individual blog posts down there, and then a nice looking footer at the bottom and very simple and effective. So let's take a quick look at what it looks like on mobile. Here we go. So very nice and easy to read and understand. And you can toggle uh, between light and dark right over there. So on an active installation, this is what it looks like. And so very simple, minimalistic layout, one column design for your blog post. Now you have to set those feature images right up top there, that feature blog post stuff right up top there, not too hard. And so if we click on the dark version, boom, there we go. Very simple, easy to read. Now, what does an individual piece of content look like? So here we go. It leads off with the title of the blog post, then the category feature image, then the piece of content. So people can kind of just read and consume the content then the call to action to subscribe or if it's a paid piece of content that people have to sign up subscribe etc then we come down there we have the author social media links and then right down there real weighted blog posts and then a very simple minimalistic footer so anyways that's number 10 the alto theme 
All right, everyone, that's it for this video on the best free themes for the Ghost Content Management System. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a lot of value out of it. I definitely suggest checking out Ghost and maybe view my tutorial video if you don't really know what Ghost is or if it's right for you. It's definitely a good alternative to, say, WordPress if you're looking for a strictly blogging platform with a strong focus on email marketing. Anyways, my name is David from WebsiteCreatorPro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.